Earlier this week, we heard from the Board of Governors at Fairmont State University about its three evaluation of President Myrna Martin. And Emily McNamara spoke to her today as she reflects back on the last few years. She joins us now. She's in the newsroom. Good evening, guys. It's no secret that Dr. Martin is loved by the community. I'm one who can speak on behalf of that. But above all else, she came to the city of Fairmont to make a difference for the Falcons. As she reflects and is thanked for her hard work, she says, as she always does, it takes a village to create this type of progress in a short period of time. One of the reasons that I came to Fairmont State is that uh, we are an institution that's a high-touch institution and we serve a very distinct population. We serve West Virginians and we first serve first-generation students. My husband and I are first-generation students and I feel very strongly it's my time to pass it forward. Each institution is a little bit unique. With the Falcon family, there's a sense of community here. Uh, it's a smaller institution, although we're the third largest in West Virginia, and we're the oldest public institution in West Virginia. It's that sense of cohesiveness. We get to know each other by name, not just as a number. And, and that's really important because, you know, at Fairmont State, we're large enough that we can offer our students anything they want. As a matter of fact, we offer them programs that are not available anywhere in our state. Three years after my arrival, we have turned our finances over to the tune of almost $12 million. Each year, there have been moments of pride, um, as, and we need to celebrate those successes. We have come together, despite our differences, as one family with one vision, and that vision is carrying us through to become a destination of choice for West Virginians and for students throughout the nation and throughout the world who seek a high-touch education, a superb education in an incredible, incredible family atmosphere. Martin says the direction in which Fairmont State is rapidly moving towards is exactly what she expected when she joined the Falcon family. And she thanks all faculty, staff, and students for their hard work that is paying off. Reporting one last time in the 12 Newsroom, I'm Emily McNamara. Stay classy, West Virginia.